Hello friends, this is Chrissy from A Little Glam, A Lot of Mom. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I thought I'd share with you our picks for our opening activities, or as some may call circle time. Um, we So what this means for us is that we like to open up our day with activities such as, or subjects such as devotional, Bible, um, poetry, singing, calendar work, read alouds, and some handy work. And um, this will usually begin before breakfast, run through breakfast, and sometimes even carry on afterwards. I found that by opening up or starting our day with gentle activities and in unison as a family, it really does set a beautiful tone for the rest of our school day. Our daily rhythms change quite often, um, especially as the seasons of the year shift. So we don't follow a block schedule. Um, for example, read alouds on Monday and poetry on Tuesday. Um, so it's very much child led. But one thing that I do try to encourage every day is devotional and Bible and also our calendar work. So before I get into it, I do want to show you how I plan. And when I say plan, I say that very loosely. It's more of a map, jotting down my thoughts. Um, and yes, you guessed it. I break that down by season and I just start jotting down the topics of interest uh, that I notice and in what season that might um, fit appropriate. For our calendar work, we really only have a few minimal resources that we actually need and that these resources have carried on from last year. So that is our perpetual calendar, um, a seasonal book or two on poems or songs about the seasons and months. Um, and then of course our nature table. So setting up our nature table as the months and seasons change. This is our DIY version of a Waldorf inspired perpetual calendar. So we like to mark off the date, the days of the week, the months of the year, and then this outer ring here, uh, we use manipulatives to count how many days there are in the month. For the dates, I just used permanent marker and these wooden blocks from the craft store. Our month gnomes um, are just very simple, one of my very first peg doll projects, and they do go with the colors of the year along with the days of the week gnome. They also follow the color rhythm. I started making weather gnomes and I actually need to add and make more to our set, but this is what we have so far. And then to um, talk about the season and mark the season, we use uh, seasonal fairies. The base of our calendar is a big wooden round I purchased at the craft store with a coupon. I used felt uh, and wooden pet dolls. And then the ring that you see that holds the months of the year gnomes uh, is actually a birthday ring from a shop on Etsy called Red Barn Toys and I will link that in the description box. Around the Year by El Sabesco. This is a new resource for us and I purchased this to go along with our calendar work. This is the mini edition board book and I bought this on Amazon. We'll begin by working out the very first page, which is a verse on uh, how many days there are in each month. So we'll be working on memorizing this first. Uh, the months of the year and the days of the week we did master last year, so we'll be skipping that. Um, and then the hours poem, uh, this will be fun, again for poetry memorization. Then uh, poems uh, to go along with each month of the year and really beautiful and sweet illustrations that you'll find in all of the Elsa Besco books. We'll work on the poetry uh, as our memory work and Bella also really loves creating her own poem illustrations. We will also display this on our nature or seasonal table and we get to flip the page with every passing month. For 
regular Bible and devotional, I've been collecting a few devotional books and picture books to use this year. The Jesus Storybook Bible, and you can find this on Amazon as well. By the way, don't forget to check the description box. I always work really hard at linking as much as I possibly can for you. None of the links are affiliated if you were wondering. So I'm sure you've seen this everywhere, so I will be quick about it. But as the title implies, um, the uh, stories are from the Bible and rewritten or I should say adapted for young children. I like that the passages are short and sweet and the illustrations are beautiful. This year I really wanted to shift our focus to stories from the Bible. Indescribable 100 Devotions About God and Science also from Amazon. I love it when we're able to log multiple subjects from just one study or activity and this devotional totally does that. This devotional has a perspective of God's doing and work in topics like space, dinosaurs, energy, human anatomy, weather. I'm really excited about this one and one of my biggest reasons for homeschool is that we can bring Christ into all of the subjects of our education, not just Bible or Sunday school. I really wish to dive into the creation story at some point this school year. We did so about two years ago and the kids loved it, so I really want to revisit it. I thrifted two picture books for uh, the creation story. When God Made Light, and there's another one in the series, When God Made Me, that I'm on the hunt for beautiful illustrations accompanied by a beautiful message. And the next one is more of a board book on the days of creation and I know that my toddler loves this one already. Five minute Bible devotions for children by Scholastic based on the New Testament. Doing impossible things, good news, learning to obey, good friends, bullies, just to name a few topics covered in this devotional. Each topic has the same layout, um, a short passage, let's talk to God, a prayer, follow-up questions to go with the passage read, and a verse. Lastly, for Bible, we're going to finish our beautiful The Fruit of the Spirit set. And this is made by a mom on Etsy. The shop is called The Littles in Me. I will link it down below. So I believe each fruit is to be broken down uh, for a week. At least that's how we've been following this. Um, and there is a layout, the same layout for each fruit. So your scope and sequence is your main idea a verse, a Bible story to go with each fruit of the Spirit, and it's actually recommended that you pair this with the Jesus Storybook Bible. She also provides ideas for hands-on activities, um, make, create, and even recipes. She provides an instructions page with pictures for the hands-on create and make activities for each fruit of the spirit. There is also a, a weekly supply list provided, which is really handy. This really is thoroughly made. A connect and reflect card for each fruit of the spirit. A coloring card, uh, which actually becomes a banner once you're done with the whole set a flashcard for each fruit of the spirit, and also a verse card.
to supplement our devotional time we've also made prayer sticks and i do need to make more um, but these are the faces of our family members and so we each choose one and pray over that person in our morning prayer i encourage my oldest children that including bella to keep prayer or devotional journals she picked this special journal because it was a gift from her great-grandfather and great-grandmother, which they are actually pastors, along with a load of gel pens that they also gifted her, just adding that much more meaning to her materials. Okay, moving right along. I've mentioned that my littles love learning through song and finger plays. It's how they've learned letters, um, phonetic sounds, planet names, months of the year, days of the week, you name it. Uh, so finger plays for nursery and kindergarten. Again, I will break these down into seasons. For example, hens and chickens uh, would fall great during our farm uh, studies during the fall time. Uh, the little plant and the caterpillar for spring or summer seasons and a Santa Claus for Christmas. For each nursery, there are the lyrics, uh, the instructions for the finger play, and then the sheet music for the melody. We like to pair singing with our musical instruments that are well loved. I'd love to add new instruments to our basket throughout the year. We will loop from finger plays and music to poetry, and so I thought we'd give Tea Time a try this year. I do still need to find a gently used tea set, and actually I think this book is a thrifted find as well. So as I do with all of our other resources, the contents in this book are also great for breaking down throughout the seasons. Uh, so a Valentine's Day tea party for winter, garden themed for spring, tea by the sea for summer, and so on. What I love so much about this book is that it serves as a resource for a full morning spread of activities. So not just the poem, but also tea recipes, snack recipes, uh, table spread and or decor projects like centerpieces, placemats, seating cards, and more. Okay, and let's talk read-alouds. I only have our very first one planned. Um, I do have others in mind, uh, but for now I'm just planning a season at a time. Um, we've listened to short story audibles, podcasts. I read picture books out loud all the time, but this is our very first try with a chapter book, so I didn't want to be overzealous with my planning. For fall, I chose Charlotte's Web by E.B. White. I bought this one on Amazon and I paid um, under the retail price of $8.99 for sure. This edition is perfect uh, for younger children uh, because the passages aren't too long. Uh, there are a few illustrations, although they are black and white, um, but it's just a classic read aloud. Okay, so this is when the read aloud gets fun and enchanting. To go along with Charlotte's Web, I bought a learning guide from Etsy. This is from the shop My Hearth Magic, a family adventure through the enchanting world of Wilbur. I purchased the PDF and printed it here at home, and I do want to be clear that this learning guide is to go with the edition by E.B. White. You get an overview of the guide on the first page broken down in one chapter and corresponding activities a week. The next few pages are recommendations from the creator on using main lesson books with this guide, reading out loud versus audibles, chapter book recommendations to supplement for older children, incorporating the Charlotte's Web movies, 
nature study ideas and a little passage on how to involve younger children or babies. This guide also includes a circle time portion for younger children and I'll get to that shortly. The creator even went as far as recommending even more books and these are geared for the younger children uh, as well as a nature study planning page for you to use. She really was completely thorough with this learning guide and made it adaptable to all sorts of homeschool families. Then we dive into each chapter with a list of the activities to go with this chapter the recommended ages for those activities and supplies needed. And you get this breakdown with every chapter study. With each chapter, she also suggests that you do circle or morning time, and she did provide a resource for that. And again, uh, we'll get to that shortly. So chapter one, old fashioned farm breakfast, a recipe, starting a character journal, and playing animal charades. In chapter two, visiting an apple orchard if possible, making apple blossom jelly, and drawing a portrait of Wilbur and Fern. Chapter three, learning to play new games as a family with the game suggestions and instructions, character journaling again, and a recipe for farmer's market soup. Chapter four is a laid back week with making a rainy day activity jar and making a fabric crayon roll. In chapter five, we dive into a spider unit study and my kids will love this uh, with links for um, educational videos and websites, a spider hunt outdoors, and needle felting a spider for some handiwork. Chapter 6, making potato stamped nature bags and a study on birds, also a recipe for granola bars. Chapter 7, learning all about washing and spinning wool with an extension activity for older children on using a drop spindle with more educational links. For chapter eight, we go back to working on the character journals and writing a short story. Chapter nine, continuing with the character journal, the short story, and weaving handiwork with instructions and templates. And chapter 10 is a study on rats and sewing a felt rat. She also includes two watercolor illustrations to go with the story, and we'll probably just use these to display in our schoolroom. With your purchase of the learning guide for Charlotte's Web, she will also send you the little red hen circle time set. Now you can also purchase this set individually if your child is not ready for a read aloud. I've told y'all how much we love our circle time, so I cannot wait until we read the story of the little red hen. She also includes several other farm themed poems, songs, finger plays, and games. Also a recipe and instructions for the Little Red Hen's favorite bread, along with a recipe for a raspberry jam to go with it. And more of her original watercolor artwork. I think these are meant to use as puppet uh, or story cards for storytelling of the Little Red Hen. Um, we can also use these as uh, classroom decor or nature table decor for fall. And as if that wasn't a great deal, she also includes her set of farm math, which you can also purchase individually. And this is a math supplement to support homeschool families with children grades kindergarten through third. So she explains the philosophy behind this math learning guide, which is Waldorf. 
um, and then she provides suggestions for the early years like opposites, classification, ordering, counting, measurement, to name a few. She also provides lyrics to songs that incorporate math and you know how much we love this as we already uh, do this in all subjects, not just math. Just such a fun and gentle way to learn for younger children. In first grade, the focus is in the quality of numbers. I will say that the this learning guide is very much at um, the level and ages that go in the Waldorf education philosophy where academia really does not begin until six or seven years old, um, which is first grade. So because Bella does follow another curriculum besides Waldorf, um, she is a little bit ahead. Um, so uh, that's just great because she'll be able to use this whole guide For second grade, there is time, learning to tell time, and money learning values in coinage and practicing counting money, paying for items in play and real life scenarios, uh, some worksheets, and money games and pretend play. There's also practicing skip counting with movement, skip counting by threes, fours, and fives, and also comparing number distances. Third grade covers place value, measurement, and continuing work with time and money. And towards the end, there are recommendations on others of her math sets and board games to add to this guide. All in all, I can't recommend this learning guide enough, you guys. It is so thoroughly and beautifully made. I'll be sure to link the Hearth Magic shop down below. Go check out all of the other learning guides to go with some other read aloud classics. A few fun resources I've already acquired to go along with our fall farm theme. A friendly farm peekaboo book for my tot. A fall is born. This one isn't new to us, but we haven't studied the book in its entirety, so we will pick it back up this fall. I love combining picture books and realistic or books with um, actual photographs. Apple Pop Board Game has been out of our toy rotation for a while, so I know they will be happy to see this again. Finger Puppets for our circle and storytelling time. My tot loves these. Again, these have also been out of rotation for a while, so she'll be happy to see those. Um, I also picked up Farm Babies Safari LTD tubes on a super clearance at Hobby Lobby to go with the Down on the Farm tube set we already own. I have so many super fun hands-on activities in mind, so be sure to stick around for fall. Finally, moving on to handiwork. So these tools we will be using during read alouds to keep those little hands busy while their ears listen. A wooden knitting tower set from the vendor A Child Stream, and you might have seen me haul this in a few videos back. Um, it's pretty simple, just um, something to keep, again, little hands busy while they listen to the read aloud. Modeling Clay by Crayola and a beeswax candle rolling kit from a child's dream. You saw me hollow all of this already, so I won't drag it out anymore. Plenty of yarn for all of the handiwork we'll be working on during Charlotte's Web. All of this is from the vendor A Child's Dream and 100% wool with the exception of this fantasy loop doll hair. Um, we have some nature spun, and here you'll see the difference between, between the worsted and chunky weight, and I have plenty of this yarn in all sorts of colors. The screen one here is Lamb's Pride Monochromatic Wool Yarn. A few sample sizes of wool rolling, and this is for needle felting. And 
and then plenty of merino wool felt sheets. And last for handiwork and to work on during read alouds is a wooden loom or weaving loom from Melissa and Doug. I found this loom brand new at a thrift store for $10, which is a great deal, but I have seen it on Amazon for about $25 or so. This loom is massive, almost as tall as my toddler, and beautiful and really well made. I'm very happy with this purchase. So along with the wooden loom, you also get an oversized wooden needle, which is great for little hands. You get some craft materials, so it includes 91 yards of rainbow acrylic yarn, uh, some twine, and 42 picture strips to complete those projects shown in the picture. At my local craft store, I found this deal on this beautiful yarn. It's a blend of 60% wool and 40% acrylic. All of this yarn for only six dollars after my coupon I couldn't pass it up for our loom weaving projects okay friends so those are our picks for our opening activities slash morning time for the 2019 2020 school year I would also love it if you shared your morning time activities routines or read aloud picks so be sure to leave me a comment down below I know this video was extra long, so I do appreciate you sticking around till the end. And if you did enjoy it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, I will have a few more videos coming up within the next few days of our curriculum picks for the upcoming school year, so make sure to stick around.